Tonight we're getting ready for our show on Friday night. We'll be in the stockyards in Fort Worth and we have to get all our camera gear together. So what we use as our gear is older Nikon DSLRs. We use a D800 and a D7100. Along with these we carry an 80-200 f2.8 uh, zoom and a 28 to 105 3545 or an 18 to 70 3545. Along with those kind of things, we carry several batteries, a pouch to carry all our memory cards, and our ear protection, along with a new device which we just started using, which is a glove that fits over two fingers. And it has lights on the end of the fingertips. This is very handy for when we use it in our fanny pack. We'll be digging inside of here and it'll be dark and we can see what's in, in the fanny pack in the dark. Also, we're able to use it if we drop a lens cap or, or something else out of our, falls out of our bag. It helps us find it in the crowd. While we're charging our batteries, we'll be clearing our our flash cards, our compact flash, and our SD cards for both cameras. Both cameras use dual card slots. One uses a compact flash and an SD card, and the other uses dual SD cards. We have to make sure they're clean and formatted so that they're not full and we don't have to do it at the show. We want to make sure that's all done before we take the cameras and the cards to the show. We take the contents of our compact flash and our SD cards and we copy all the contents into a backup hold directory on our PC. We keep everything organized by artist and date they, sh they were shot. Once we formatted the cards, we put them back in the camera and make sure they're installed properly. Once they're installed, we turn the camera on, go to the menu settings, check all our memory our menu settings, make sure everything looks right. and we format the cards. We format the cards in the camera. That's usually the best way to do things. Okay, once the card once the cards are formatted, we go to the next camera. The memory cards we use most of the time, the SD cards, are 32 gigabyte at class 10 cards. We don't like to go any bigger than that because there's really no need. And class 10s give you the best performance when shooting uh, concerts and anything in continuous low. Some of our files that we do shoot are up to 80 megabyte in size on the um, D800, so they're quite large, but still, even with that, we very rarely have a need to change cards. Okay, once we copy the files over from the uh, SD cards, it's now time to set up the uh, D7100. So, we'll make sure it's turned on. Go to the menu. And check it out. And the first thing is to format the memory card. So we'll format that memory card, for the top, the first one, and then we'll, it's formatting, then we'll format the bottom one, and all our memory cards are formatted on both cameras. The simple thing we do before 
we go to, uh, to shoot a concert is we make sure that our cameras are all set up and are set up correctly. First thing I do is I look through the viewfinder and right here is a thing called a diopter. And here it is on this one. What I do right there. What I do is I wear glasses when I uh, use my cameras so I can see the inside and see the, through the viewfinder. This allows me to correct the viewfinder for my glasses so I can see normally. It's very important to make sure this is done before you go to take um, shots at a concert because if you don't and somebody's played with your camera, everything will come out blurry. And that's not good. We want to make sure that all our settings are in the correct set. Uh, setting mode and we shoot in raw always so we have to check that and make sure that is set correctly we also go in and we check our um, ISO to make sure that our sensitivity is set right so what we'll do is it's set currently right now at 400 which is about average what I use on cloudy days and I will go down and I will set the the ISO the 1600 before I even get into the building on this camera We'll make sure this is set the same way on this camera. We'll take a look and see that we're set at uh, 1600. We'll make sure that the raw settings are right, the white balance is set right. We'll make sure that all the settings that we normally use for when we shoot concerts are preset and already set up in the camera so we don't have to do that when we're at the show. This saves a lot of time, especially when you get three shots in the pit or something like that. Uh, you don't want to be spending your time adjusting your camera. Also, you can see from here, on the bottom of this particular camera, I've got a battery grip holder. This holds an extra battery, so on the D800, I have two batteries in it. Uh, I have uh, enough time and enough energy in the batteries to shoot for quite a while. Normally, one battery will last uh, a whole 32 gig uh, SD card, but it's always good to be safe to have two. I also recommend, that's why we have two cameras, Having two cameras in case there's accidents or problems or one breaks or one misfires uh, or something gets messed up and you have to quickly move to the other, that's why we have two cameras. So the other thing we do with the two cameras is both cameras use the same exact battery, Nikon battery, and uh, we keep several spares in our fanny pack to uh, have just in case there's an emergency. Then periodically I'll take the lens caps off beforehand and I will take a good look at the lenses and make sure the glass is clean there's no dust if you noticed on the on the counter that we're doing this on I've got a lot of cat hair I can't imagine why because we have cats and uh, it's always good to make sure everything is clean first there we go check all your lenses make sure the front there's no smudge marks or anything like that on them you want to make sure that that's all taken care of Make sure everything looks pretty good. On this one, I've got a polarizing filter, so I'll probably want to remove that first before we go. And the other camera. We'll make sure they're nice and clean. Make sure there's no dust. Make sure there's no dirt, or grime, or hair, or anything like that running around on them. So that's another one of our pre-shot, uh, pre-event checks. Since this is the first of the year, all our Nikon cameras have a setting for setting up your copyright information in the metadata. So I've changed all of these so that all the photographs that I photograph have a 2023 copyright notice in the metadata on each one. Also, at the same time, I got me a lens cloth. I'm going to put that in the bag too, so that's covered. Put that in there and just in case something does happen. While the battery is charging, we're going to go over some of the paperwork that we need to have. So right there I've got the correspondence between the management of the band we're going to see and their approval for taking and having a, a photo pass. It's a new venue we've been to, we haven't been to before. Some venues make you buy uh, tickets, some don't, so we've got 
tickets for this one just in case. It's always good if, if you don't know for sure, you can either ask or just purchase a ticket and, and be done with it. One of the things Charles is helping me out with tonight, say hi Charles, is the other night I didn't check my spot metering and my focus points. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's one of the last things I have to do on the camera. I also noticed that tonight my battery is down in, in the uh, D7100, so I'm going to replace that. That's being charged right now. So this is my final checks uh, before we head out uh, for tomorrow night. And uh, we're going to get everything all taken care of. Here are a few photos from the show. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. And we appreciate you viewing. Thank you. Bye-bye.